Hey guys, I'm Jim, K and 4 ycd and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Today we have a Yesu FT5D to take a look at. This is the brand new HT from Yesu. It includes Bluetooth and sunshine and puppies. Stick around. Hey guys, what I've got today is a Yesu FT5D. The newest, shiniest toy from Yesu. So, <clears throat> let's take a quick look in the box. Here's the radio. I've already been headed out and played with it a good bit. This is a IPX7 rated radio. It has Bluetooth. IPX7 means it can be submerged up to uh, 30 minutes in one meter of water without anything being damaged. This is, of course, a C4FM um, modulated radio system fusion. I don't have an FT3D, but this is about exactly the same size as an FT3D. And as a matter of fact, they both use the same exact battery. So if you have a 3D, you could actually upgrade from that. <clears throat> Alright, so let's take a look in the box here. So the radio comes with a number of accessories. That's a European power plug adapter. Of course it comes with a power plug adapter and this is uh, from my non-US viewers, all one of you maybe. That's the standard US adapter plate that uh, fits on there like that and if you needed to you can change it out to, I believe that's going to be Europe. I'm not 100% sure. And we've got a belt clip. Um, the bell clip is pretty nice on this, and I don't want to open this up because this is not my radio. This is a buddy's. He bought it and sent it to the channel for me to do a, a review on. So you can put the uh, radio in this belt clip, and you can put the, or in this holster rather. This is a holster. You can put the radio in the holster, and I don't want to open this up. There's screws in there, and I don't have to. I don't want to lose them or have to keep up with that. So you put the radio in the holster and carry it like that and put the clip on the holster. So unlike the 3D where the clip is on the battery, this is the clip is on the holster and you can just take the radio in and out of the holster. Now, similar to the 3D, you can also, if you don't want to use the holster, you can also put the clip straight on the back of the radio. So there's that. And it comes with a USB data cable and uh, and that's about it. Now he got the special anniversary edition from, um, I don't know where he got it, I think HRO maybe. And it's still available on their website as of today or yesterday when I looked. Um, you can get a uh, international orange holster with it as well as the standard black one. So if, that's, uh, if you're into orange, he's all excited because he got an orange holster. So that's pretty much what's in the box. I haven't, um, I haven't taken any of the rest of the ancillary stuff out of the box. So I'm going to shove this out of the way. See, that wasn't an unboxing. That was technically we just looked in the box and we moved on. So this is the FTD-5D. This radio is uh, dual band. It is, uh, and I will pull in... Um, a page here and, and we'll take a look at specs in a second but the um, it covers of course the standard hand bands now what's interesting is and this will be on the spec page when we when I show it um, this receives many more bands than it transmits on so Short of US cellular bands, this thing receives pretty much all the way up to one gigahertz. There are some holes in there. It is not contiguous coverage, but it receives a whole lot more bands than it transmits on. Um, it has dual transmit, so you can have two um, separate channels up at the same time. Let me turn this on. So you can have two separate channels up at the same time. <clears throat> um, it is, 
you know, it's it's a standard two meter 440 um, HT, really. So it does all the things you'd expect every HT in the world to do. None of that has significantly changed. What is neat about this radio, there are several things that are neat about it. For one, the screen is gorgeous. It, I mean, I don't know if if the camera really does it justice because you're getting a lot of glare off the off the camera. Um, but the screen is touch sensitive and it is just clear as a bell. Really nice looking. Um, we'll play with the screen in a second. Of course, A, B to switch between whichever um, whichever uh, side you want to transmit on. Um, the band button will jump through the bands. And this is, this is what I was saying about um, receive. So by hitting the band button, I'm now in the uh, FM band, 1.8 uh, megahertz, 50 megahertz, 108 megahertz, 146, you know, the standard ham band, 174, 222, 70 centimeters. So as you can see, there's quite a range on this. Um, and of course it will receive standard FM as well should you want to listen to that the B side does not receive as many bands it is more limited than the A side as you can see we're cycling through all of them and we're not hitting as many but still that's pretty neat um, receive on this is is pretty stout especially on the A side so that's really cool um, so the screen is touch sensitive and you can also obviously change A and B by touching the screen, which is cool. And so I'm on um, the two meter call right here. Let's say I want to change frequencies and I want to go to, I don't know, some random frequency on 70 centimeters. I can just type it in and now I'm there. That's it. No fiddling with a keyboard and buttons and you're there. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is seriously cool for the simple fact that I'm older and I have to wear cheaters, as my grandpa used to call them, reading glasses. So not having to see a keypad is awesome. Um, and if I long press this, I mean, I still, obviously there's keypad there, but those numbers are a good bit bigger. For comparison, um, here is my 70D, and you can see the difference in screens, right? Um, <laughs> and the difference in the text on the buttons. I absolutely have to have my glasses on to drive this radio. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Um, if we jump into the menu here, if we jump into the menu, you can see a lot of the standard Yesu options. Let me zoom this camera in just a little bit for us there we go that's better you guys can see it a little better so we have all these options uh, on the menu and I'll, I'll get to those in a second I kind of jumped ahead of myself PTT over here these are um, that's power I can't read what that says okay so this is monitor. It just breaks squelch for us. This is the squelch to adjust the squelch. Obviously PTT power. On this side, we have uh, one rubber cover. Actually, we have two. For This is for uh, earbud headphone jack. And then down here, we have for our power adapter, SD card, and data cable down here and that looks like a standard huh, mini USB adapter cable so uh, that's been a hot minute since anything came with one of those I don't know why they made that decision that's interesting so that's what's on under the covers and of course those covers are what make this IPX7 rated as long as those are closed the um, let me shut this back off a minute. The battery hatch 
is activated by pushing that down and you can see the battery again this is the same battery that's used in the FT3D I am 99.9% .9 sure that is not the battery that's used in the FT70 no it's not it's a way different battery um, so a 7.2 volt 2200 milliamp hour battery uh, which is rated at 16 watt hours um, not amp hours watt hours and of course there's the power contacts for the battery right there and it's interesting to note if you've never seen one of these this is also similar to the FT3D there's a rubber grommet in here around the power connector to further seal out water from touching things that water doesn't need to touch and possibly letting the smoke out there's our FCC ID and all the officialdom serial number so on and so forth the battery goes back in by setting it down and press until it clicks like uh, other Yezus as far as I know I haven't tested it but I bet you a dollar yeah none of these change the volume you probably have to hold down yeah oh no there it is the outside knob turns the volume that's awesome it's on the 70d that's I have to press I have to hold a button on the side to turn the knob so there's there's two knobs here an outer one and an inner one and the uh, the outer ones changing the volume I don't know if you can see that real well on the camera so that's that's really cool um, if we jump into the menu so and we have several menu screens here of course your transmit power your home screen reverse for flipping repeater inputs a scan function digital receive functions um, well some Yezu specific things that I cannot remember right off the top of my head what they do we can press the screen and jump on to the rest of the functions uh, we can change I believe we can change the display colors this looks like the GPS display this does have GPS in it also supports APRS obviously <clears throat> it has LED lights so you could actually use this I don't I can't with the studio lights on it's kinda of hard to see how bright that may actually be um, if you have the uh, camera adapter you can obviously take pictures through this similar to a FTD 400 I believe um, since it is a touch screen of course I can change modes up here on the screen okay so uh, the I want to get back to the menu the menu options that come up are dependent on how long you press and hold menu I don't know there's somebody talking turn that down are dependent on how long you press and hold menu back of course takes you out of it so if I press quick press menu I get this menu which is more radio actively specific things transmit power memory so on and so forth okay this even has a band scope on it as well which is just outstandingly cool for a uh, for an HT radio the um, and if I press menu and long hold it then I get a more detailed menu and this is like the full radio setup menu where we can change all these options settings for the SD card format it load from save to so on and so forth we can put in our call sign all the APRS settings and I know some of you will ask about APRS <clears throat> here are the settings I'm not going to go into all that but you can see that this covers just about everything you'd want with APRS I don't use APRS so I can't speak to 
the actual, actual implementation of APRS on this radio. I've tried APRS and all it does is irritate me, so I leave it off. Um, <clears throat> of course, the config, jump in there. The small knob on top is what lets us change between these things. Um, I will have to kind of give Yesu a little bit of grief. It, so to select something from the menu items, what we have to do, if I go into config, it's not A, B, it's the function menu again. And that lets us change the items. And as you can see, these are all the various setup parameters that are in this radio. Back, of course, drops me back one menu level generally. <clears throat> this radio, of course, does support Bluetooth. Um, I'm sure Yesu sells a Bluetooth piece for it. I don't know if it will work with a standard Bluetooth device like um, AirPods or, or uh, you know, whatever, but um, it does support Bluetooth. There's our device list of the Bluetooth devices that are added to the radio. Bluetooth audio settings. And since, of course, it's not set up, it does support the USB camera from Yesu. <clears throat> our scan options, if we wanted to scan various signaling options for the radio so it supports all the usual suspects that way. Um, our memories, so we have multiple banks, we can name those banks, so on and so forth. Again, very similar to every other HT you've ever seen. Um, transmit and receive functionality. So if we jump in here under digital, we can set digital parameters, for example. We can set modes. Any attenuation on the antenna, FM deviation, receive modes. Curious what's under that. Okay, and just set it to auto, FM, or AM. All right. And of course, back, like I said, takes us, takes us back out of the menus. So it's got a pretty complete feature set, and you know, Yesu does love a menu. Um, that about covers all of that, really. I, I have found out a couple other things here that are unique about this radio. Um, of course, hitting AB, just quick pressing it, jumps us between the two separate frequency bands that we have set up, our A and our B uh, frequencies. If I press and hold, I lose the B one and I get more information on the A side. I'm going to assume that I can probably change this somewhere and see more information other than battery power. Um, that's probably one of the display options, but I haven't I haven't messed with that. If I hit A B here, when I'm in single mode, then it toggles between the last uh, two frequencies that have been keyed into it. All right, so that's pretty cool. Press and hold A B again, and that takes us back to our our dual transmit receive mode. All right, pretty cool. Of course, it supports wires wires X all the normal C4 FM stuff that Yesu supports. There are some other functions you can do with this. It has a function called Active Monitor. I'm not familiar with how to set that up, but what that basically does, I, I saw a little bit of another video um, and John Kruk was explaining this. It's basically I can monitor three or four active channels at one time. Um, and I'm sure that's going to have to be set up in detail in the radio setup, and we're not going to dive into that this much for this radio. Um, I did some transmit tests with the radio, and I have it, uh, I'll roll in a slide here. And you can see that, of course, and I'm sure you wouldn't expect any different, but this thing is spot on with... Uh, with respect to frequency and uh, and harmonics, there is no there are no spurious transmissions 
or odd harmonics coming out of it at all and as you can see from the picture here this thing looks clean as a whistle so it's a really nice radio something else that's a neat feature on this radio that I've noticed and I, I don't have both sides set up to receive at the moment but when I'm receiving on A the A light lights up if I'm receiving on B the B light lights up so that is outstanding that it does that <clears throat> Um, so you can at a glance tell that. A quick press of the power button locks the screen. And as you can see, it's popping up lock every time I touch it. So when you're trying to get this out of the holster or off your belt, your grubby fingers are not changing things. That also locks all the buttons so that you can't change anything. And it locks the knobs which I think is outstanding if you're trying to stay on one setting and not get off of it if it's critical that you don't bump the radio for anything that's easy and then another quick press takes it off lock and it tells you it's unlocked so pretty slick the um, I don't know how many um, memories are in this I'd have to look at the specs and and um, Past Jim said we'd look at specs, so by now we've seen specs and you know how many memories are in this. It's a very solid build. <clears throat> the quality on it is, is outstanding. Let me shut this off. They're going to they're gonna talk. Of course they're going to talk now that I'm recording. So, <clears throat> I like the radio. Current price on this is about $475 from um, all the usual suspects. HRO, Gigaparts, um, stock may be a little limited. I have not personally checked. I looked at HRO yesterday and they had them in stock at HRO yesterday. Now how much they have in stock I have no idea. Um, and I'm not sure exactly when my friend Jason bought this. However, um, this is a slick radio. It is not a cheap radio in any sense of the word. It's not a cheap build and it's not an inexpensive radio. But this thing is solid. I really like it. Um, I don't think, I'm almost positive and I'll have to double check this and if I'm wrong I'll roll in a crawler here on the on the bottom. But this does not do full duplex. Uh, you could use this for satellite but you're not going to be able to transmit on the uplink side and hear yourself on the downlink side at the same time. There's not many radios that do that particular function. All right. Um, <clears throat> looking at the box, it's a standard box, nothing special here. Um, stats about what it supports and where it came from. It's a lithium ion battery. It has a manual that came with it. I don't have the manual in hand. The manual is. Uh, in the office in my house but I'm pretty pleased with the radio I think it's a, an outstanding radio um, that's really all I've got on this it um, it's something I want to look at getting I the 70 D I mean we're, we're comparing apples and watermelons here okay they're both radios but this radio is is decent and it works fine I've never had a bit of problem with it but this is outstanding. Um, the fit and finish on it is perfect and the screen is is really a selling point for me like I told you because I can see the screen a whole lot better than I can see the screen on the 70D. Alright so that's all I have on this video you guys. This has just been a quick look at the Yaesu FT5D by no means in depth. I hope you got something out of it and I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. Um, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel uh, so you you uh, know when I publish new content. And make sure and ring the bell so you get notified when I publish new content. In any case, that's all I have for you. 73, guys. Bye.